Oh, you doing a girl for each other? No. That's too much? Yeah, that's too much. What? Oh, I hope. Hey, you guys, and welcome back to... <laughs> welcome back to Shit Happens Podcast. My name is Kayla. I'm the creator of this podcast. And this is a podcast where we basically talk about all the shit that we go through in life, okay? Today, we have some special guests, so y'all can go ahead and introduce yourselves and also shout out where the people can find you. Hey, Tyler. You can find me on Instagram at global.talk with a zero dot T Y Y. That nigga, Tyler's like, yeah, it's Wiz. Find me on Instagram, Wizen1K. Yeah, and then Twitter with the 1K underscore. Yo, it's Caleb. You can follow me at All Set Cal. Simple. And y'all know my socials will be down in the description as well, as well as there. So y'all make sure y'all go follow each other as well. For sure, for sure. Yeah. All right, we're gonna dive into a little guys chat, nigga chat, whatever you want to call it. You know, we have a girl talk or whatever. So I thought, okay, let's give the guys a chance to voice their thing. You feel me? Do you guys think men and women can be friends, platonic friends? Uh, yes, I agree with that. At Why? first, at first, you gotta be up front with it, though. You feel me? Like, you like your attention has yes, to be pure. Yes, attention. But how can a woman know if your attention is pure or not? You just gotta let her know. You feel me? Cause you know, there's some guys they'll like pretend to be yeah, that right. their intentions are pure, but really sneaking mm-hmm. behind you, they're not. Yeah, you're right. So yeah. how can you know the difference? Mm-hmm. That is a good guess. Right? How, how, how you know the difference? Oh, pure, if a nigga's being pure, like if you like his intentions, yeah, you can't. I mean, yeah, that's just yeah, why you gotta be apprehensive. I feel like yeah. you're like a lot of things, you just be kind of apprehensive to a person show you their true color. Like, mm-hmm. remember we talk like actions, actions go a long way. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I personally feel like men and women, boys and girls, you know, young ladies, young men can be friends. Um, but like you said, there's a lot of other people in the world, in China, period. So at the yeah. same time, just once they have a guard up, you know. Don't put anything past anybody. Actually, so. Yeah, because you know, like some people say the reason why men and women can't be friends is because they said if the guy had it or the girl gave the guy a chance, he would take it. Is that true? That's, it depends like, on who it is. Like with your female friend, if she gave you the chance, would y'all take it? No, nah, not all of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not all of them. Yeah, like, okay, not all of them. I mean, look. It's some of them dead ass like hell yeah, yeah. But shit. it's some of them like nah, and it's not even just about looks. It's like the vibe, like, yeah, like you know you got to be right. your friend. Yeah. And then also like let's be real, some of y'all got friends, or some of us have friends where like we know damn well in the future if that shit goes a certain way, then it just goes a certain way. But honestly, like some of them, and not all of them. I think that's a good answer. What are some of you, what are some red flags that you guys avoid in women or in girls? Mm. Like what's like you see that red face like eh, can't fuck with her. Nope, can't do it. Mm. Oh, just off rip, not even. I mean, by talking, I don't know. Some red flags are just like me personally, like a girl who don't got her head on straight. Like one thing I've really done is like social media shit. Like if she's like infatuated with having this persona in social media and then in real life she don't have her shit together it's like you're putting on a facade like you're faking that's so i feel like that's some dumb just dumb shit because that's how you crash out like you're trying to put on trying to make your self seem some way for something like these people that don't even know you and don't really give a fuck yeah it shows that you have a lot of insecurities yeah. about yourself but at the end of the day you're not putting in the work behind the scenes to actually mm-hmm. like live the life you live facts yeah that's not all that's real the shit. biggest red flag i feel like that's <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> that shit you see nowadays too much, bro. Like that's just yeah. too like common. I ain't even gonna lie for me, I got two. I got um I think easily influenced, so that's similar to what he said. And I also think um main character energy. But first <laughs> main, I'm a, character a, energy. main character energy. <laughs> main character <laughs> syndrome, yeah. Let me let me switch the word syndrome and energy. Explain, but, explain. All right, so first I'm gonna go with easily influenced because like that was some real shit like I hate people who are easily influenced. Like, don't become a whole different person because you're in a different demographic area or some shit like that. Like, we all know the stories of people who, you know, leave leave home and just become a different person. Like, no, you're not gangster. You're not. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, just be who you really are. Yeah, really faking it. Like, like bro, I used to grow up with you. You know, you do not act like that. I'm saying so. I definitely do not fuck with easily influenced females. 
And secondly, I say main character syndrome because look, we go to Kennesaw and we see this shit every fucking day, every function. People think they like people think it's a movie and it's just them and everybody else just side characters and that's not yeah. how you know, that's not people how trying to act Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, I don't like Hollywood, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's well, not how. Bro, like character. you can have a conversation with me when it should be yeah. chill, but then if I see you yeah. out, you right. act like especially you know, if we get into a relationship like because like if that's a relationship ends and shit like, like that, that, like I know you. You feel me? Like <laughs> don't be trying to act different. Don't don't say hi. Like that's so weird to me. Like how people can try to just. Forget you from your mind. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> we were just thinking this other <laughs> Come on now, we go to Kennesaw. We see this shit every day. <laughs> What's the red flag for you, um, Tyler? Uh, I would say picking up on social media. Like, appearance on social media, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I want to see you posting your body every day, you feel me? Because that's going to turn me off, you feel me? Really? Yeah, that's going to turn yeah. me off. Yeah. What are some red flags about yourselves? Uh, personally, for me, I think I'm a green flag, so I don't have a green flag. That's a word I ain't heard. Why do you think you're a green flag? I follow the energy game. You mean, I mean, you don't think there's anything you can work on? You don't think there's anything that you know you tend to do that might make people be like Tyler? I treat the ladies with respect, you feel me? So. I mean, and then I got a good character. Yeah. I mean, that's good. And that nigga defense. That's all that you need to work on. That's what your red flag is. In his defense, you ain't never seen him do no lame shit. Exactly. All guy you ain't never seen. Like, everybody. 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 Like, you know about yourself better than anybody. Like, for me, I think my red flag about myself is that I need to be. That I'm not, I didn't, I didn't know that I'm not right all the time because I tend to try to prove a point all the time. People like, like in a relationship, y'all, y'all think well, I'll right? say probably for me, I'm, I'm a little nuts on that sometimes, like mm -hmm. sometimes I just don't be caring for real. Man. Yeah, so you need to be more compassionate yeah. towards yeah. others' feelings yeah. instead, instead of just not caring. Yeah, that's good job. <laughs> <laughs> It's not y'all want to share your energy with everybody or like you don't want to give And what do you think is holding you back from sharing your energy? Because some people I know, like you meet some people and you open up and you're like, damn, this is not the type of person I thought I fought with. Yeah. This, they're they're kind of like they just not the type of person like damn. So then it's like, bro, I did all this and y'all shared it up, mm -hmm. shared it up, and it's like you know you're not compatible. And it's like then you kind you of feel like, like a waste. Not a waste. It's more of like. Then you start trying to, because when once I open up, people are like, oh, you're a whole different wisdom. Yeah. And like, you're a whole different. And then when you go back to how you were like, once I see I'm not compatible with somebody, I just like kind of draw myself back a little bit. And mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, what's wrong? Like, you know, sometimes they're like, damn, oh, what about this or that? What's wrong? And it's just like, it's not even that. It's, just, it's not like I'm, it's a waste where I don't focus. It's just like, damn, we're not compatible. So I'm just pull myself back. And it's like, yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't even know if it's a safe that, but. Yeah. I mean, it's not, I, it's a red flag, but it's like, you know, you pick and choose the people you fuck with, so. Very true, right? Yeah. It's like, I opened up I the door. I want to let them know, yeah. though, you know? Like, a, you know. Yeah. That oh, that's, oh, more. that, that might be what the actual problem is. You're yeah. not opening yeah, up to open let up them know. Like, Damn, so expressing your feelings. Yeah, yeah, probably telling like, mm -hmm. oh, it just didn't work out, and that's why I'm like, you know, pulling back. All right. Probably be like, this nigga just. Like, just out of nowhere, like, you just feel like, I don't want to fuck with this person more. Just be like, hey. I honestly out of nowhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'm real. I said just let them know shit up. Like I'm gonna be real. Honestly, I don't know. I don't want to book yeah, anymore. Really you know, yeah. instead of just you know acting weird and then they be like, "What yeah. the fuck's going on with this nigga?" You know? Yeah. Talk to me. Go ahead, Caleb. All right, I'm gonna be honest. My red flag is my green flag as well. I'm a lone wolf, bro. Like I like doing shit like on my own. I like keeping shit. And like, well, not keeping it in, but like keeping shit to myself. Like, yeah. I don't like all that. I don't need extra. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just like keeping it short and simple. And that should be helping me win sometimes too. I ain't even gonna lie. What do you mean by all that extra? Bro, I ain't even gonna lie. I 
Like I love like having friends and shit like that, and like having people around in my life. But good I, I'm good without that shit. Let's like I can survive without let's it. Like, bro. Let's drama, let's, let's bullshit. Bro. Like I can survive without it. And it's like I'm gonna always have my love for my people. But like, I mean, come on now, like. Nigga, I can go like, like this is my boy, y'all. Y'all, I'm cool with all y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can go a long ass time without talking to y'all, and like, it's we are gonna vibe. But it, yeah, it's all, like, it's all. Some it's all, people make it seem, make that seem weird. Like most people be like, oh, you think you can be in this world by yourself? It's not even that. Yeah, it's yeah. like you at the end of the day, you gotta be able to survive in peace by. If you're not yeah. at peace by yourself, so, you're never gonna really be at peace. Yeah. So you can be at peace by yourself and accept your own company and be okay with just your own company. Yeah. Like, there's, you just need like there's some things you need to like sort out with yourself. I personally yeah. feel like but a lot of times people, people make it seem like, oh, like you just be by yourself, you feel like you can do everything by yourself. It's not it's not really that. It's just like no, I just need content. Yeah, yeah I'm just fine. Like, so one thing, right. no one thing about me, cool. I'll walk these halls alone and be just fine. Like, I'm all I need for real. I'll entertain my fucking self. Like, okay, true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are your sexual t- turn ons? And your non-sexual turn For me, I mean, I like a girl that keeps up with herself, you feel me? Always have her nails and toes done, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And her hair, too, you know? Something about the braids that I just like, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you want to pull them toes? 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 Tyler's been on Twitter now. <laughs> 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 Alright, what about sexual? That's a good question. You can think of it. Um, not sexual time. Um, I guess it feels like, I don't know, kind of like similar, similar to me. Like, I like a girl who, like, she can be chill, like, we don't gotta be around each other too much. And we're like, we can be apart, and then we can come back together and it'll be the same vibes, the same good energy, mm-hmm. you know, be having a good time. And then a girl who can, like, she hustle, get her own money, and we build it together. Oh, bruh, like, a girl that builds you up, and you can build her up, too, at the same time. I feel like that's a really good, like, that's a really good connection when you find you. Mm-hmm. Um, a sexual turn on? Um, <laughs> uh, Everybody can get involved with the sexual yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. Is there nothing we do attractive sexually? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, a girl can look me my well. I don't know if that's sexual, but if she can look a lot. Yeah, of girls, I think that's deep intimacy. Like yeah. a girl that can look you back in your eyes, and actually, like she doesn't like turn away or get like is like even if it's for a split second. Because I've noticed that a lot of girls don't like looking eye contact. In your it's eye, very like, deep intimacy. They, yeah, they, yeah. They, don't, they just Makes be scared you nervous. Shy away. So a girl can look in your eyes. Niggas like, get nervous too. Well, yeah. I, I like that's what I, I like to look somebody in their eyes. Yeah. Like, if, if somebody can like lock eyes with me and they're like not, they don't act weird. It's like okay, you know. <laughs> okay. But uh, that's that that look at the way looking make it like awkward. Like, yeah, like, like that's a level of like you mature for real. Like you adult with that shit. Yeah. Girl, like, <laughs> I definitely understand that. I just feel like when you lock eyes with someone, it shows that they're actually listening. Like, because, yeah, like, you're yeah. focused on actually what I'm saying, you know? Mm-hmm. You're feeling me through that, like, yes, so that's the thing type shit. Yeah. All right, go, Caleb. All right. <laughs> Mine would probably. Uh, the fuck? <laughs> 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 sexual like uh, my most non-sexual turn on will probably be like when she like has shit going on for herself but like she's humble about it like it's so many like females like that we see or whatever women that we see my bad that we see and like they don't like you know they might not get all the hype that like you think they would get but like they be doing their shit for real like i'll be going in the gym or whatever and like it's a lot of females who be doing their shit and they not on instagram with it or all that but like they really put in that work you know, I'd be at school and whatever. It's a lot of females who literally, like, you know, they're doing their thing with the schoolwork. Like, they're getting D's, lists, all A's, and shit like that. And 
they don't, you know, they might not get credit for it, but it's just really people putting in work and they not, you know, flying it out. They yeah, just low key people, it. them low key. Yeah. As y'all seen, I like that aggressive shit. I like to fight. Not really a bad nigga though. <laughs> Sweetheart. Yeah, okay, a central turn on for me. I mean, I like when a girl starts with me first, you feel me? Like, like when she, like. Take the lead. Like, like she shit. take the lead, you feel me? Yeah, I like yeah. that shit. You like that dominance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, Don't we do the girl you No. That's too much? Yes, yeah, What? <laughs> You already know this nigga now, so I just oh, don't be talking to me. You wanna go to the No, I don't know. Would you wanna go to the Yeah, yeah. Can't let me that one go. Damn it. I know she gotta be aggressive, you feel me? Who, me? I already said that in the girl's talk. I said that. Anyway, go ahead. I wish you was scratching it. Interesting. Last question. How do y'all feel about your girlfriend having a guy best friend? Great question. You know, for me, I feel like it's okay to have a guy best friend, but like it's certain stipulation, like certain boundaries you can't cross. You Let's me. get like, into it. Like if we both like meet like boyfriend trying to hang out and the guy best friend trying to hang out like you should be able to put me first you feel me mm -hmm. that's how i feel about that interesting so is it cool if you like does it matter if if she met him after or before you is that a factor uh i mean i i, I mean i let well i'm not gonna say i let certain stuff slide like if she met him before me but i mean i give her a little slap you feel me like hanging out wise you can Hang out with them just a little, not not a little bit more than me, but <laughs> just a little bit more than I would be, like. Yeah. Normally, typically yes. okay with. Yes. Okay. Y'all too. What's y'all opinion on it? Um, I personally say yeah, because me like, see, I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like if she doing something like something going on, I feel like you tell. Like the energy, you can just tell like a relationship between two people. I kind of, it's kind of hard to hide. Like, mm -hmm. um, they're fucking with each other. Like, you should be able to read it. Exactly. That people, is. people say, but I don't, I don't know. It's just sound like if you really know your girlfriend, you got a girlfriend, you should be able to know it. Just like read energy and shit. Like, so for me, and I'm a really trusted person when it comes to a relationship. When it's a relationship, I'm like, because if I get a relationship with you, like, damn, I trust you. So I feel like I'll be able to read it and I'll be able to tell. So I don't even really care if she got a boy best friend. Yeah, that qu this question is just based on really the trust. Yeah, yeah. Trust. Mm -hmm. it's relationship to relationship. Some yeah, shit, yeah. Like, that shit ain't going. And if y'all yeah. think about it, like a lot of her questions like correlated because this really like correlates to the first fucking question. And like I like how it like came back to it, like because the first question I think was can men and women be friends or whatever. Yeah. So like I fuck with that because like I, I'm with y'all. Like it's not that deep, but like like this nigga said, like bro, like wisdom said, you're gonna be able to tell like. You should be able to tell when you first yeah. meet the nigga, or yeah, like type, when you first hear about the nigga, like, like like how you go about like nigga, exactly. Type, if like, he's really like, if his, if in, if it, sorry, <laughs> if his intentions are bad or not with her, like as a best friend, yeah, as yeah. yeah. a best friend, yeah. tell, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. tell yeah. other like, niggas, yeah. Yeah. Like, I can tell what's going on. Put it like this, like all right, say he went out, like, say he was going out with Tyler or whatever, we would be able to tell like if this nigga like slipped one at you. Or some shit like, or if y'all had something going on, like we'll be able to tell, like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is just that topic? Like, what are the tells? Like, is there anything y'all see, like that y'all just pick up on? Body then, language. I feel like body body language. What type of body of language? It's just like how he goes about around her. Like, yeah. it's just like I don't know. Like, it's like you know how like, like he's more like lean not, into it type. Not like nah, <laughs> it's just like the way he. That like goes about just yeah. like it's hard, it's hard to explain, but it's literally just telltale signs. Like, I feel I like, like, like if I start hanging out you out with you like more often, like you get like yeah, oh yeah. Exactly. so like we're cool with you, but we don't hang out like constant. You yeah. 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 He'll he'll hang around and he'll do certain things that like you'll let fly, and then over time they'll build up, and he starts yeah. getting comfortable, and then he'll subconsciously just start doing it. Like even like when he meets, like say we're all together, your girl, your girlfriend. The boyfriend and her boy best friend. He'll uh -huh. sub subconsciously, subconsciously just do shit or say shit, and then you'll be like, "What the fuck is going on?" Like you just be like, 
this is right. That's, yeah, that's pressing them down. Yeah, that's like, and then you'll you'll be like, yeah, there's some shit going on here. And wow, then, even, we can even like re re reflect the question on you. Like, you know damn well. Like, I don't know, like in your situation, but like you, like you might have had like a boyfriend or whatever, or like you might have known somebody with a boyfriend and he had a girl best friend. And something was going yeah, on. Yeah, you could tell. You could tell. Actually, yeah, yeah, you, you could feel like, like, like right. She likes you, right? Like, oh my gosh, that <laughs> I was especially if she in a friend. Now, if she in a friend group, like, not all the time, because yeah. not all the time. But if she in a friend group, like, that's multiple niggas. Like, you could like have to check. Like, you have to see, and it'll be one of them, or maybe not. But you'll see. Well, do you guys have anything else you want to add or say? Oh, how do you guys feel? Well, I can't really say how you guys feel like. What do you guys feel about the state of just like things that are going on with the whole world oh, versus with the yeah, worst thing? I literally time. woke Facts. up and when I opened my Instagram, that's all yeah. I could not see. And it just kept pissing off everyone I read. Like that shit is so dumb and crazy to me. Yes. It don't make no fucking sense. Personally, when it comes to that shit, I know for the longest, and this probably sounds stupid, but let's be real. I know for the longest, like men and women, we be going back and forth. Like we just be bullshit with each other, like on TikTok and social media and shit. We just be fucking with each other. But this is one situation like I'm a hundred percent behind y'all because that's y'all yeah. fucking choice, nigga. Like exactly. I don't know I mean, personally, like, I think that's but like so it can affect both of them, like exactly. man and woman, because say like y'all are still together, like and y'all cannot take care of a baby together, yeah. and y'all yeah. want to choose to get an abortion. It's like you can't do that exactly. no more. Like what the fuck? Personally, what I thought when I first seen that shit, like even before this shit, like back when they were talking about it, like back in like March or April, yeah. I thought that shit was sus as fuck. Exactly. Like I thought like the fact that these niggas are worried about. That I thought it was such a weird, and like, to see that this is like the first, like yeah. I'm so scared to see what's in the own kids. But I've been listening to like but dumb decisions, decisions continue they to wanna, make. They want to take care of the child in the womb, but when they come out of the womb, they don't. They, they don't give a fuck. They, they don't give a fuck. They can be in an abusive household. Exactly. And then. No, no, they have to traumatize that child. Exactly. And the child would have been better off already in God's hand without having to go through that trauma. Let like, me tell y'all something. Y'all exactly. know I don't be smoking, but. The fact that they banned fucking vapes before they banned AR-15s is the craziest fucking shit ever. Yeah, that's right. Like, that's just crazy to me. They're not like, focused they on don't, actual right. problems. Like, they just want to I've keep learned them. everything like the government does is ulterior motive. Like they, it, like on the on the surface, it seems like oh they don't fuck with it, but it's really some deeper shit. That's it's deeper going shit. On. Like, yeah. right? Yeah. It's so fucked up. Like, I don't know. Like the whole like the way like well, sometimes I bring up is the whole way marijuana is still isn't legalized. In America is because like like pharmaceutical companies make so much money off selling their drugs that they make, mm -hmm. and weed is such a con like it's, it it's helps a drug that, so much as yeah, natural. Yeah, it heals a lot of like things that people are going through. It helps people with a lot of things, but people can't do it because or are scared to like partake because yeah. it's illegal. It's illegal. Yeah. And, it's taboo. Yeah, it's bad. Like, but it's really what's going on. All these pharmaceutical companies are lobbying. They're paying off these people who are like the people who make the decisions. They're paying them off to make these decisions to keep them in business so weed doesn't become legal and people be able to sell it. So like, she like birth control. Who knows what's going on behind the scenes? Why they're yes. really like? Because I know birth control. I mean, um, abortions were the, were bringing them hella money because the money is going to government, right? Uh, Planned Parenthood is like a government sponsored thing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So like, they're getting all the money from the abortions. So why would they cancel it? Why would they like, stop bringing the money to the show? Fucking game. There's bro. some shit that's going. Shit on. that's going, nigga. That's just the surface, bro. Yeah. So something else you think is happening? There's definitely something. How do you know that? Like, there's really nothing later is gonna pop up and it's gonna connect back to this. Or this, it's probably even going on right now, but the whole banning abortions is what yeah, they want us to see to cover. They do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always they something do, going on. They do this shit to yeah, Americans so we can look, so we can look, look the other way. Yeah. Like, oh, there's that there's that always some crazy. shit that's going on. That's I heard, pop up later, bro. I heard somebody say, um, like this Roe versus Wade thing was like just a way, like to like take away more freedoms and like this is just some shit to like make the people outraged and whatever, yeah. and they're gonna do other shit that because exactly. niggas ain't gonna watch the news forever. They're just gonna watch it on They see big. something big that yeah. they're like, what the fuck? It catch their attention and then yeah, they Exactly. Now everybody's That's, a yeah. perfect citizen, but oh, nigga, man. they been doing shit for the longest. It's so fucked up though, cause I seen cause I seen the people like the people who are making the decisions for that just made their decisions for millions of women's lives, like right. change their lives. And it's all these old ass people who like okay. who are probably rich who probably have hella money. Yeah. Old dry old wrinkle. Yeah. Yeah, can't even you can't even you reproduce anymore. If these stuff. rich ass niggas don't fuck their secretary and get her pregnant, <laughs> best believe right. they don't get an abortion. Yeah. Okay. Best believe that baby is not coming I out. I seen some shit about that. They're like a lot of these people who are wealthy and still in a higher class, they're still gonna have access to abortion. Hell yeah. This is really a 
good thing is the lower class people who, oh, okay, she got pregnant accidentally. All right, we have 500 for abortion, but we don't have thousands for a baby. Exactly. But now you have to have the baby, and now you're being put in further financial burden because, like, right. it just took away this yeah. option for you. And be real, yeah. like, it's just now, like, I'm happy you said lower class because there's no such thing as middle class. Yeah. Yeah. That shit has been it's evaporated. Like, the line the two. It's rich. It's either high class or your low class. <laughs> right. Right. It's rich and it's not rich. rich. Like, like, you know, basically. Right. So many people are just like, bro, you're taking like the decision away, you're affecting these people's lives. Yeah. It's just like, bro, what? I don't know. They're just making like no, they're making shit get worse and worse. Our generation, I've been reading a lot of shit. Our generation is the poorest. Like, our parents are technically, when they like got out of college and they started getting a job, they have it was money. easier. Yeah, because yeah. the houses yeah. weren't right. as expensive. Right. Right. Wasn't ex- That's why I was gonna do like once we started. Cars weren't as expensive, but our generation is like, like everybody suffering. Yeah, yeah, we're suffering so much. So much yeah, shit. Like, it's just like, bro, the people who are making these fucking decisions don't even know what the fuck they're doing. They're just going off shit that happened years and years ago because they think they can reset. But it's a whole different. Well, I feel like bad is so especially the price of gas. Like, oh my god, it's but, it's up, it's but in Georgia, up, the middle like eight is seven twenty-five, and a gallon of gas is damn near five dollars. Like, bro, like, no, it doesn't. Bro, there's people who like are barely getting like none of this shit really be making sense. And it's just like, bro. This word is a fucking dystopian. Like, how are you not going to increase the pay, but you're increasing prices? What? Exactly. Like, that don't make any sense. Yeah. For anybody yeah. watching, if you haven't realized by now, you're going to need multiple streams of income. Yeah. Like, so, no cap. You're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Work your ass. You have to, <laughs> to the point like where two. goddamn two might not even be enough no more. Like, you're going to need multiple streams yeah. of income. Yeah. It's, it's a cold world we live in. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. But let's end off on a great note. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thanks y'all for coming out on the pod. I really appreciate y'all taking y'all time to come Thank out. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, appreciate you having me, man. Y'all go show some love to them, of course. And subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe. And yeah, make sure y'all share this video with everybody in your context. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, uh, you guys did so good. <laughs>